Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with Thalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number one, knowing our numbers, question number one to ten of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. First section, mathematical reasoning. Question number one. Estimate the quotient to the nearest tens. 163 divided by 14. Now when we want to do estimate the quotient nearest tens, then dividend and divisor has to be first estimated to nearest tens. So 163, we have to estimate nearest tens. So here 3, at the, here it is 6. So we have to estimate for the tens place. And once place it is 3, which is less than 5. Therefore, the nearest tens value for 163 is 160. Same way for divisor, for 14, it is 10. Now, if we do the division, 160 by 10, it is 16. So, our answer is B. Many times, students do a mistake. First, they will do a division. Say, 163 by 14. So, 14 ones are 14, then it is 2, 3, then 14 ones are again 14 because 14 twos are 28. So it is 14 and remainder is 9. So now the quotient is 11. They do estimate of quotient. So nearest tens for quotient for 11 is 10 and then they will go for answer 10. That is wrong. See the estimate to the quotient that doesn't mean that we are talking about this it's a terminology to get the quick answer therefore this 163 divided by 14 has to be first estimated to the tens for dividend as well as divisor and then we do the division therefore the answer is 16 don't do that 10 it's a mistake next Find the sum of place value digits 2 and 7 in the number 92,37,658. So number 92,37,658. We have to find out the place value of digit 2. That is this. If you see the place value, this is 1s, 10s, 100, 1000. 10,000, then lakhs, then so we are talking about this 2. So 2 means it is 20 lakhs. Uh, it is 2 lakh. And if we talk about 7, it is 1000. And we have to add. That means it is 2 lakh 7000. So 2 lakh 7000 means C. Next. What is the number 4,600,050 written in the expanded form? So in international system, international number system, how do we know, do not say first it is ones, then tens, after tens, it is 100, then 1000, then it is 10,000, after 10,000, it's a million, then 10 million, then 1000 million, uh, 100 million, million, 10 million, 100 million 
and after 100 million there is a billion so here what is given 4 billion so it is 4 then comma then how many millions so no millions so that means it is 0 then again comma every 3 digit there is a comma then there is a 600,000 so 600,000 means it is 600,000 correct and 50 so it is 0 5 0 so this is the number and we have to write in the expanded form so expanded form means it is first 4 billion so it is this is 4 billion then 600,000 so it is 600 and then 1000 and 50 so plus 50 so this is the option A this is 60,000 that is it is not 600,000 it is 6 60,000 not 600 it is 60,000 this is 650,000 4 billion 650,000 this one 4 billion 600,000 this is 650,000 now if I talk about this this is only this is 10,000 after 10,000 4 so it is 4 million only correct so therefore our answer is A next when a Roman symbol of a smaller value is put between two numerals of greater value it is subtracted from the numeral on its blank left right or both side so let's understand suppose this is a roman symbol greater value let's say at m and c and if i put a smaller value x correct then this x will be subtracted from C, not from M. Correct? So, X C means it is 90. Correct? And M means 1000. So, it is 1090. So, this X, which is 10, subtracted from C, which is on right side. Next. The difference of greatest six digit number and smallest four digit number. So it's a greatest six digit number. So six times nine. So it is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. And we have to take difference. So minus smallest four digit number that is thousand. So if we take difference. It is nine 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 eight nine 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 lakh ninety eight thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. So therefore, answer is B. Next, the largest four digit and smallest four digit numbers formed by using digits four zero three seven. Each digit used only once. So largest four digit, that means first whichever the large number is there, that will pick up the highest one, the largest one. So in this one it is seven. Then next is seven is out. So next is four. Then next is three. And next is zero. So seven, four, three, zero is the largest four digit. Option A, four. So this is out. This is out. 7403 so this is not the right answer here 7430 so option d is the answer no need to go for smallest four digit number don't waste the time however if you want to find out smallest four digit number we'll start with the smallest one but here zero we cannot take zero zero will be at the second place from the left side correct so zero will be here after zero which one is the Another one next to so three. So three, zero, four, seven. That is the answer. 
So option D, that's the right answer. But without doing even smallest four digit, we can answer, correct? Next. Commas are inserted in a number after each. So in international number system, commas are inserted after it's a period. In a number of both system, Indian as well as international, it's after period. Next. Find the predecessor of successor of MDVI. Now predecessor of successor, it means MDVI itself. Because successor of MDVI, first let us understand MDVI means how much. So this is a Roman numeral. Convert to your Hindu Arabic. So M means the biggest digit in this, biggest symbol in this is M, that is 1000. Then D, next one, that is add 500. The next digit is V, so add 5. And then last one is 1, so plus 1. So it is 1500 and a V, so 5 plus 1, that is 6, so 0, 6. So 1506. Now successor of this is successor of 1506, 1506. That is next number. So 1507. And predecessor of successor of 1506, that is 1507. So predecessor of 1507 is again 1506. Therefore, it is this. So answer is this. Therefore, it is MDVI. If it is given once again, the in Roman, find out in Roman, then it is MDVI straight away. No need to do all those things. Next. The number, let's put some number is given, can be written in international system of numerations. So in the international, always there is a comma after three digits. So let's insert the comma. Now this will be written or read as in international system. Let's understand once again. So first it's a ones, then tens, hundred. After hundred, there is a thousand. Then there is a ten thousand. Then after ten thousand, there is a million, 10 million, 100 million, billion, again that there is a 10, million, 10 billion, 100 billion. So here, how many digits say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3, then 3, 1, 2, 3. So let's put here that is 9, 6, 2, then there is a 5, then there is a 1, then there is a 3, correct, 10,000, then, oh, here there is a 100,000, that was missed. So 3 is at 100,000, then million, million, trillion, uh, uh, million, 10 million, and 100 million. So 3, after that 6, then 2, and then 8, so no billion. So 826, that is this. So it's a million. 826 million, 315, 269. Correct? So it is written as 826 million, 315, 260, not 6, it is 69. So A. This is 82 crores. See here it is given option B crore, but crore is not the, you can say in, in international system, it is in Indian system. Same way if you see the option C, 82631,5269, what is that? We don't know, correct? So answer is A. Next. A number of digits in a number starting with 72 crores will have. 
Now in short, please remember, we can understand, but for quick, remember, 1 crore means 10 raised to 7. There are 7 zeros. So 72 crores means 72 into 10 raised to 7. That means 7 zeros. So it will be written as 72, then 7 zeros. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is like this. Say in Indian system, it will be three digit, then two digit, then two digit, then two digit. There is a comma, correct? So, therefore, total digits is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine digits. Therefore, answer is C. Next. So, that's all about the solutions of question number one to ten. Chapter number one, knowing numbers of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query doubt solutions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is Vithalam Academy at the red gmail.com. That is V A T H A L M A C A D A M Y at the red gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.